Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I feel like uh, maybe I don't make one of these every single year, but I think it's something I should make every single year, yeah? I've got a video of some of my favorite products that, you know, beat the heat, to put it simply, in terms of summer heat, makeup. It can be very tough. However, these specific products that I'm showing you on my face today are ones that I personally find to last very, very well in the heat, and they all come from iHerb. This video is sponsored by iHerb, but as always, my bottom line is that A, I've got to be able to pick out the products and give my 100% honest review on them, and well, that's also B, A and B. <laughs> I love iHerb. Not only have I been working with them for years now, but I have also been ordering from them for years now. Not only do they sponsor some of my videos, which I'm very grateful for, but I do use their service outside of these videos and on my own. They carry over 30,000 products on their site and ship to over 150 different countries. The products can range, you know, they've got supplements and vitamins, they've got tons of beauty products, they've got some products for your pets. But you know, since my channel is mainly beauty here, yeah. I'm focusing on the beauty products. And what I especially appreciate, especially after, you know, some certain uh, dramas going on in the beauty community as of late, iHerb, on the other hand, they ship their products from climate controlled warehouses, so you don't have to worry about the quality of the product that you're getting. But just in case something goes wrong, you know, in the shipping process or whatever, you know, mistakes do happen, iHerb offers customer service 24 hours a day, seven days a week in 10 different languages. So if you want to help support me, support my channel, all of that good stuff, definitely check out the links down below for these iHerb products. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, getting on into those product reviews here, I'm going to start off with, this was pretty much the very first thing that I thought about, but this is one of my favorite foundations to whip out during the summer. It's actually not a foundation, technically. It's a BB cream. This is the Holika Holika Aqua Petite Jelly BB. I love this stuff. Ever since I first tested this out, it has been a very good one and one that I go to a lot. It's a very thin consistency, but yet you can build it up and get really good coverage out of it. You know, I didn't use a concealer at all today, but I was able to get most of my blemishes to disappear, kind of, you know what I'm saying? But I think the fact that this is such a thin consistency also lends to it being very, very lightweight, even when I get oily throughout the day, which I do. This doesn't completely keep me matte throughout the day or anything, but I do think that it helps to control my oils in a sense that it just makes them look a bit less pronounced throughout the day. I don't look quite as greasy, I just look a bit uh, dewy, to put it nicely, and I don't have problems with it transferring, it stays super lightweight even when my oils do come out. I just think overall it's a very natural looking foundation, and to me that's all very important during the summer, because I think no matter what foundation you use, it's going to come off in the sweat and the heat and the humidity but I think keeping it very lightweight and natural looking just helps it to fade gracefully and not be as apparent that you've been sweating out in the heat and this one does just that. I will warn you for those of you that are sensitive to fragrances this is very heavily fragranced. It smells delicious. It smells like a fruity delicious shampoo. However, it's fragranced. Uh, it has never caused me any problems in terms of breakouts, but just so you know, that is a thing. Plus, I think the bottle it comes in is so... F it's just so cute. Then I have got some cheek products here, two of which are staples of mine for sure, and then one of which is a recent discovery. To start, I have got the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer here. This I just used the shade Bronzer. There are different shades. Mine is very well loved. I've had this for a very long time, and it's one of those things that just does not quit. It smells delicious. It's a very light coconut scent, but I know some people don't like coconut, so just so you know, that is there. But it's super smooth, super soft, super silky, super blendable, super perfect. I mean, this is hyped on YouTube for a reason. It will last all day. I personally don't use it as a bronzer, I use it as a contour, but it works for me. It's got enough of a coolness to it that it works, and I just love it. It's a staple, and it's at a great price. And also, I have the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. This particular one is in the shade iridescence, which I personally love in the summer, using iridescent highlights. I think in terms of, you know, there are so many metallic highlights out there and sparkly highlights, this and that. 
I sweat enough on my own as it is. I provide my own natural highlight to my face, so I don't really need help in that department. But I do still like wearing a highlight, and so that's where I find these iridescent shades to really come in handy. And oh my gosh, I just, I think they're gorgeous. I think you look like an ethereal fairy princess warrior. Just beautiful. I love the shift of pinky purple. It's just, it's delightful. And the formula of these butter highlighters is so wonderful. It's like, it's almost kind of a cream to powder formula or a wet to powder formula. It feels very creamy when you dip your finger in, but then it applies like a powder. It's beautiful. It's lightweight. It stays all day. I have absolutely no complaints. I love these highlights and just Physicians Formula as a whole. You can find a ton of their products on iHerb, but they make fantastic products plus they're cruelty free and stuff so that's always nice too and then the blush that I have recently found that I really really love this is the mineral fusion blush in the shade flashy it's supposed to brighten your cheeks for a youthful glow it's also you know all natural and that kind of stuff you guys the formula of this blush is gorgeous it's super soft and silky it's the perfect amount of pigmented you can build it up you can wear it really really sheer and this particular color I could see working on so many different people's skin colors it's just just that perfect neutral pink with a peachy salmony undertone to it. It just gives that bright liveliness to the cheeks. I think it looks so, 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 so pretty. Lasts beautifully on the cheeks, like all over. It's great. Cause you know, just like with the highlight, you know, when you're out in the heat and the hot, you're, at least for me anyways, my cheeks are rosy enough on their own from overheating. So I don't need a super powerful blush. Granted, like I said, you can build this up to be super powerful and apparent if you want, but I like that it's sheer because then my natural rosiness can kind of shine through as well. And I don't look super overheated. <laughs> but I just think that trio on the cheeks is just it's so gorgeous it's natural and but still gives that little bit of a pop for you overall you know the makeup I like to wear in the summer is I mean the I guess the main two things are that a it's pretty much budge proof and then B is that it's really lightweight and just a very light look in general. And so for the brows, I find that to be something that I always like having done, even on my most casual of days. And one of my favorite eye pencils or brow pencils is the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow. iHerb carries a bunch of different K-Beauty products if you are interested in trying those out. Etude House makes some great products. I especially love this pencil not only for the shape of it, but also for the texture of it. It's quite dry, but I like that. It it makes it so that the lines that you're drawing for brow hairs to fill in your brows, it just looks really nice and natural and you don't have to worry about making them too dark. But as you keep on working with it, you know, it softens up and everything. So if that's more what you like. You can get it to be a softer texture, but then, you know, just go ahead. It's got a nice soft spoolie on the other end. Brush through the brows, make that a bit less harsh looking and blend it all out. And then e.l.f. makes great brow, brow tints? Brow gels, I guess this would be more of but they make good brow gels you know they don't feel crispy on the brows they just feel nice and light but it still adds that little bit of tint so it gives you a little bit of extra fullness also keeps your brows in place uh, the wand on these is quite long so I personally like to just put that in as you know quick as possible and then go back in with the Etude House pencils spoolie just to re-spoolie that all out but overall I think you know it's a great combination it works it lasts all day and I I think it looks good for the brows. Then for the eyes, also very nice and simple and easy. I am a one and done kind of girl when it comes to eyeshadow, most of the time anyways, but especially during the summer. And so I think, you know, cream eyeshadow pots are perfect for that one and done kind of a look. And these ones from e.l.f. are magnificent. This one is kind of a cult classic. It's in the shade Toast. And it's such, it's just a pretty gold color. It's really plain and simple, but so gorgeous. So gorgeous. It's just a nice sheer wash of gold on the lids. It's super easy to apply, cream to powder type of a finish, and lasts all day, fades gracefully, you know, all that good stuff. Plus, super affordable. And then one of my favorite eyeliner formulas for brush tip eyeliners is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. It's a two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. And during the summer, since I do like to keep things more natural looking and everything, I think using a deep brown shade like this instead of a black is just kind of a nice little touch. It's just a little, little something, you know, it's not quite as apparent as a black. You can still use black. I still do use black. I just think it's nice to switch it up every now and then. So I decided to 
use the deep brown for this video, but I love this eyeliner. The brush tip is wonderful. The formula of this is wonderful. It's not like a super, super stark tint, I guess you could say, but it is buildable. It's just if you're looking for like ultra black pigmented eyeliner, this is not the way to go. This is certainly a more natural looking eyeliner, but I think it still looks gorgeous. I love the way that it applies. You can redraw over it, so if you make a mistake or you need to make your line thicker after you've already done it and it's dried down, you can do that and it won't peel it off. It just, you can get such a nice sharp point to your wing and overall it's just really easy to apply, plus this stuff is pretty much budge proof. Excuse you, I don't know which cat of mine that was, but bless you. But you really have to be scrubbing at your eye if you want this to budge, but otherwise it's it's real good. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then one of my favorite things that I've found on iHerb over the years, and one of my favorite K-Beauty products, I guess in general, is this mascara, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is the Hymish Dialism Smudge Stop Mascara. Now this, this does, it comes with multiple meanings to me, this mascara. I mean, overall, it's a wonderful mascara. I love the wand on it. It's curved, so it fits really nicely along your lash line and everything, since it's not a straight line. It hugs the lashes really well. You can get a nice boosted, amplified volume to your lashes, but you also get nice length because this is a tubing mascara, which means it is super duper easy to remove, which I love. I mean, literally I can just, you know, hop in the shower or just splash water on my face and then very lightly wipe it off and it just wipes right off so there's no tugging. So you would think, well, Cassie, then why are you recommending this during the summer? Well, so long as you're not going swimming in this, you're gonna be fine. Sweat and stuff doesn't affect it and it really is a smudge stopper in terms of I never have any problems with flaking or smudging with it. It's a beautiful mascara and I love, like I said, that it's easy to take off because that's one of my least favorite things about doing at the very end of the day is taking off waterproof mascara. This stuff though, easy peasy, no problems. The, uh, the other connotation that I was saying is that I got broken up with when I was wearing this mascara last year. <laughs> If you're going swimming or if you're planning on crying a lot, don't wear this mascara. But for every other occasion, I think it's fantastic. And then two other products that uh, are recent finds, recent loves for me, but the thought process behind them is nothing new for me. I personally, I mean really any time of year, but especially during the summer, I love whipping out my lip stains and lip glosses. And Korean lip stains are some of the best that I've ever tried. There are many on iHerb's website, but I really wanted to show this one because it's freaking adorable. Look at it, it's like a little candy. It's so cute. And it smells like candy too, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. So you can just, you know, twist off the end of it and oh, give it a sniff anytime you want a nice smelling thing near your nose. And then you can use it on your lips. And this particular one is the mousse candy tint in the shade Grapefruit. I also have the strawberry one, which is delicious, but I especially, I just like, you know, kind of orangey corally lips during the summer. It's kind of a classic staple color, I think, for the summer for many makeup products or lip products. Just something about it. It's very tropically and nice in the heat, I guess. But I like using that, just dabbing it on the center of my bottom lip and then rubbing my lips together and dabbing that in to the center-ish area of my lips and letting the excess go towards the corners of my mouth. It just gives that nice, you know, just suck down a popsicle kind of a look to your lips. And then on top of that, I, I mean, you can wear it on its own, but I personally like using a lip gloss on top of a lip stain and these e.l.f. tinted lip oils are wonderful. This one is in the shade Coral Kiss. These smell great. They smell like sugary candy, I guess. I think that's the best way to describe it. Almost like a cotton candy, but it smells so sugary and delicious. And I just love the formula of it. It's a really lightweight. Mm, I would, I really, it's, I think there's a reason why they didn't call it a lip gloss because it's so thin and lightweight. It really is more of a lip oil and it's beautiful. You get that very slight coral tint to the lips, but it matches so well with this grapefruit stain. This combo is just just all sorts of gorgeousness. I love it. And then because, you know, it's a stain, it's gonna last very well and fade very gracefully, which, like I said, it's one of the things I love about these summer makeup staples for me that 
beat the heat. There you go you guys, there was this summer's roundup of some of my favorite products that beat the heat in terms of makeup and beauty products. I hope you guys enjoyed it, got some good new recommendations for products to try out. Thank you once again to iHerb for sponsoring this video and thank you to any of you all who want to support me and my channel by going and checking out those links, ordering yourself something nice from iHerb, one of these makeup products that I recommended or whatever else you may want. All of that info is in the description box down below for your ease and convenience. Uh, let me know if you have tried out any of these products in the comments down below and how do you feel about them. Also let me know what some of your favorite makeup products are for the summer. What lasts through the heat the best for you. I love hearing from you guys and getting new product recommendations there. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it and if you are new here Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.